Hello, and welcome to my Prevention Project presentation. Today I will be covering my topic, which is vocal hygiene for adults aged 19 to 35. First, I want to talk about voice and what it is. Voice, particularly, is the vibratory signal for speech. And it's used to communicate intent, as well as mood and feeling. The production of voice is made by a combination of three subsystems, which are respiration or breathing, phonation, the vibratory signal coming from vibrating vocal folds, as well as resonance, which is either the dampening or enhancing of that vo vibratory signal through our vocal tract. So now we're talking about this thing, vocal hygiene. How do those things go together? Well, as with any athlete who practices a sport, their bodies need to be in good condition and healthy in order to produce and function properly. Our vocal folds are exactly the same, where a healthy system allows for proper production of voice. My target population here are adults ages 19 to 35 who are working at an international summer camp. As you can see, they come from all over the world and the participants were females, 50 of them, 37 males, and they were all counselors, instructors, or event coordinators at Lake Greeley Camp. Now I'm going to get into the work responsibilities in their relation to using voice throughout a typical day at camp. Now on any given day, an instructor or counselor has responsibilities that involve supervising and monitoring water sports at the lake, as well as instructing and monitoring, as well as facilitating sports such as basketball, activities like skate park, flying trapeze, baseball and softball, tennis, bungee activities, gymnastics, dance, and several others that I will be going through as you can see on the screens flipping. So as you can see, these individuals are using their voices constantly throughout the day, whether it be to corral campers or to instruct their activities and give safety regulations in order to make sure that all of their activities go smoothly within the time frame that it is allotted. In addition to instructing specific activities, camp counselors are also given the responsibilities of monitoring and accompanying all of their campers at all bedtimes as well as all meal times. So these next few slides are just going to show you what exactly it looks like to be at Lake Greeley camp for a day. We wake up at 7.30 and immediately get into our flagpole morning meeting. This is where announcements for the day are given by, again, counselors and other staff. And then we go on into an entire day of activities until 10 p.m. My presentation took place at the staff training and orientation for the 2018 summer. The presentation involved vocal hygiene best practice, which you will see in your pamphlets, as well as trial speech therapy with the group, and then lastly I ended with the presentation survey. The therapy consisted of deactivation exercises, which included neck rolls, shoulder rolls, chin up, chin down, mostly the stretches and activities and exercises that we use in order to deactivate the muscles that are involved with speech. Next were vocal function exercises. Those included trills, high-low trills, freestyle kazoo buzzes on V. We did a trial therapy of resonant voice and conservative voice. Compensatory strategies, most important of these, as we wanted to provide the individuals at the camp ways of saving their voice and 
maintaining healthy vocal quality. Lastly was a survey which was done via Wufu and it is a website where you can make your own surveys. My survey questions here, pretty typical survey questions, asking about if it was useful, if I was a good presenter, and what they got from it. The results of the survey, I got 100% completion, 100% response of much more for the question, how much did you learn in this presentation compared to other training workshops? I got 100% yes response for the question, did you find the information you learned useful? As well as 100% response as strongly agree for all the rest of the questions. Yes, it is likely that some of the results were skewed, and that is for several reasons. One of them being that I got 100% response due to the fact that individuals could not leave and go to the next workshop without completing my survey. And secondly, it's likely that the results were skewed in a positive note because approximately 70% of the participants just so happened to be my closest friends in the world. That's my presentation. Thank you for listening.